Hey everyone, John Mead here, author of the 50 Things to See with a Telescope book series. This is a special video targeted at helping authors prepare your book for publishing on Amazon and dealing with issues as they arise. After seven years in this business, I guarantee I've probably encountered every issue, but dealing with a PDF that won't flatten for print is by far the worst. Note that this solution requires Adobe Photoshop and ideally Adobe InDesign and Adobe Acrobat. So why do you need to know how to flatten a PDF in an emergency? Because PDFs become corrupt, because sometimes Adobe or Amazon will update their software and suddenly your books don't print correctly anymore. And they might even get pulled from Amazon or worse, as with what happened to me, Amazon ships out hundreds of misprints to your readers. So why is this an emergency solution? Because if you make your book in InDesign and format your book properly, you won't need this method. When you export your book from InDesign, your book is already ready for print. Well, back when I didn't know what I was doing, I wrote a book called 50 Things to See with a Telescope Kids, and people fell in love with it. It soon became a number one bestseller on Amazon in the stargazing category. However, it was written and designed on an old version of Microsoft Word on a seven-year-old MacBook and the file only opens correctly on that Mac. I originally uploaded the file to CreateSpace without issue. As many of you know, CreateSpace then moved over to Kindle Direct Publishing, KDP. So this week, we decided to update the book for 2020 using the original file. Everything went as planned. We made our changes in Microsoft Word, saved the book as a PDF, uploaded it, and Amazon approved it and started shipping it to readers. So as a test, I ordered a copy on Amazon and when it arrived, the book was a mess. All the pages just displayed a jumble of triangles and squares instead of text. Over the next week, one star review after one star review was posted to Amazon. Hundreds of people were clearly receiving this misprint. Amazon became aware of the issue and they immediately locked me out of the process. I did send them the correct file and they sat on it for days. There was nothing I could do but call and email over and over with no resolution in sight. Eventually they released their hold, I approved the revised file, and hopefully things go back to normal in a few days. All right, so let's walk through the process step by step. All right, so here's the book that I need flattened right here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how bad it is. Let's go and open Adobe. And now I'm going to open the book up here in Adobe Acrobat. And we can see that it actually looks great. So there's no issues with opening this PDF itself. It just won't work um, in print production. And I'll show you that right now. So if we click to print production and pretend we're going to print it, so we're going to do a preview of what it'll look like if it goes to a printer, and we can see that it's a mess. So there's one page, here's another page. Um, and there's nothing, I, I spent over seven hours and there was nothing I could do that would make this work and export correctly. Um, you know, I tried a lot of stuff. So anyway, what are we going to do to fix and flatten this file? Now, the most effective and fast way that I found is to use Photoshop. All right. So now what we want to do is make sure that Photoshop is open. We want to take the file that needs flattening drag it into Photoshop. And now what we want to do is just um, import all of the pages of, from this file as pictures. And so what we're going to do here is select all of the pages by holding shift and clicking on the last page. We want to make sure that it is at 300 DPI and we want to make sure that open in reverse order is not selected. All right, so it's gonna take about 30 seconds to a minute to open up every page in this um, book as an image. And so we'll wait a second while it does that. Now you're not going to save these files at all. Uh, we're only gonna save the exported PDF and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Now that all 72 pages of my book are open in Photoshop, what we're gonna do is export this as a PDF. Now to export all of these images as a single PDF, what we're gonna do is hit File, Automate, PDF Presentation. We're gonna select Add Open Files, leave everything here the same, make sure it's set to multi-page document, but that should be a default. And now we're going to hit Save. I'm gonna save this in my flatten PDF folder. 
and I'm going to keep the name the same, except I'm going to change it to say flattened. Save. And you can leave these settings the same or apply a standard to it if you want. Now it only takes a few seconds to make the PDF and this PDF that it makes will be clean and flattened. All right, now we want to test that this file is indeed flattened. So I'm going to take the file that we just created in Photoshop, drop it into Adobe Acrobat. We're going to go back to our print preview. Sorry, that's we're going to go back to print production. I'm going to go to one of the pages that shows the issue most obviously. We'll go to flattener preview and as we can see, the file is perfect. Now there's one more thing we want to do before we upload the file to KDP. We're going to want to create an InDesign version of this flattened PDF so that we can use, uh, use that as our export for the paperback and we can even use that as the export for the Kindle. So let's do that now. All right, so here's how we're going to bring that PDF into InDesign. We're gonna to go to File, New, Document, and I'm going to create a one-page document with the same dimensions as the file we're bringing in. All right, now to bring in the PDF, we're going to go to Windows, Utilities, Scripts, and then uh, here we can scroll down. I think it's through application samples, JavaScript here, it's already open, but ultimately we're going to go down to a script called place multi-page PDF. I'm going to double click on that and then go to our flattened PDF. And we're going to place it in this, um, blank one page document here. It's currently called untitled dash two. And you're gonna get some alerts, just click okay. Place on page one. And in just a few seconds, our entire book will be in InDesign. And this is great because you can um, adjust the margins and stretch uh, these pictures if you want, um, because that's really what they are, they're just one picture per page and um, they look great. Now, the proper way to have a flattened PDF and not have issues with the PDF file in the first place is to build your book in InDesign in the first place. Um, but I really didn't have that option uh, this time. Anyway, we can see here that uh, the preview isn't turned up to the highest quality. So uh, just to check that this is looking great, I'm just gonna go to view, screen mode, preview, and then view, screen performance, high quality. And then I can scroll down and clearly see that, um, you know, this uh, is a very good looking document. So to export this file as a PDF, and we know it's gonna look good because it's really just a bunch of pictures. Uh, we're gonna to go to file, export, let's name it. InDesign, save. And now we can choose our settings again. Perfect, perfect. All right, export. And that's all there is to it. Well, I hope this video helped you. If it did, please help me by subscribing to Learn to Stargaze, my new YouTube channel, which includes lots of astronomy activities for budding stargazers of all ages. If you have a copy of any of my books, please drop a review on Amazon, ideally with good images. That would really help me out too. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, the future is looking up. Thank you.